Hello, and welcome to a new installment of StarkNet Bite Sized. This time, from the comforts of quarantine at home. In this installment, we want to discuss a key component of interacting with StarkNet contracts by way of account contracts. Account contracts are the new way in which a user can interact with their system. And unlike Ethereum, which distinguishes externally owned accounts and contracts, in StarkNet, accounts are simply another form of contract to deploy. Within it, a user can define their desired logic, most notably the signature verification scheme that determines who can uh, uh, issue transactions from this account. So a user can have a very simple open account that allows anyone to issue transactions from it. You can have a standard ECDSA signature scheme or a multi-party signature where three users can own an account and only two signatures are necessary to issue transactions. First things first, we need to make sure that our StarkNet network is set up correctly. Simply use export StarkNet network and make sure it is set to the alpha Gorily testnet. Next up, we need to choose our wallet provider. This is going to be integral henceforth for our interactions with contracts in the StarkNet system. Simply use export StarkNet wallet to choose your desired account. In this case, we use an open Zeppelin account. Lastly, in order to create an account, we use StarkNet Deploy Account. Uh, to use this uh, uh, command directly as is, we will create uh, something that's called a default account. It's the account that uh, all your uh, following transactions will default to uh, from now on. But we can also use the flag account in order to create an account with a custom name. In this case, I'll just create an account under my name. Uh, I had a typo here, so I'll type this again. And if all works correctly, we should receive our contract address and the transaction hash as uh, a result. Great. So now that's out of the way, you can simply give an example of uh, a contract interaction. This is a previously deployed account, which we will cover later on in the series. But if I uh, send this transaction now, it will go through my default account, which was previously deployed and successfully sent. So this is a very versatile concept. It allows you uh, a lot of customization for the signature verification scheme you desire for your purposes. And that's it for this video. I uh, hope you found this helpful and we'll see you in the next one.